Welcome to the new moon in Scorpio uh, card pull. I am Lisa from Lady Norway Energy Healing, coming at you from her healing space. And I just wanted to do a quick little card pull for the new moon in Scorpio today, November 13th, 2023. Hope you guys are all hanging in there. Pretty heavy, intense new moon being that it is in Scorpio. Um, we do have Mars is involved. Yeah, there's definitely the sun, moon, and the sun and the moon are conjunct with Mars. And um, so Mars is the planet of action, movement, initiation. There's a opposition with Uranus. You know, that could be... That could be a little unsettling depending on, you know, of course, this is all depending on your natal chart, your birth chart and where your planets and what your houses are and all that stuff. But on a collective level, the new moon in Scorpio, uh, we've got Venus is in Libra. That's good. That's a good thing. Keeping our hearts open. She's helping us continue this journey that we're on, you know, keeping our, keeping it full of joy prosperity, love, abundance, intimacy. Oh, there's a, there's a card that just flew out. Yeah, Venus. I mean, she's got some good things happening for us in this whole thing. And yeah, like I was saying, there could be some unexpected change being that Uranus is in the mix. You know, we basically have just come out of this, the, the eclipse, um, the South Node eclipse. And, uh, We've released the past. Uh, we're taking the next step uh, towards our dreams and our goals and the journey that we're on with more empowerment. So it's good. But, you know, with Scorpio, stuff comes up. It can be a little intense. Scorpio can be a bit intense. Ruled by, ruled by Pluto. I think... Um, Basically everything that's happened uh, or transpired up until now, all the healing, all the letting go, all the cycles ending, they're all helping us through to the next chapter of our lives and, you know, and sort of creating the lives of our dreams. So, um, and like I was saying earlier too, depending on your natal chart and, you know, where your planets are and your house systems and stuff like that, you know, there could still be some tough in aspects but this is just general so but anyway um set your intentions new moon intention settings you know all that jazz so we've got inner child healing which is lovely it's a good time to you know those oh and the tower and the tower well looky here number 16 the tower from the good tower good tarot and inner child healing so you know that's uh definitely the breakdown or the fall you know i think of a tower uh in the rider weight deck you know that sort of shows people kind of falling out of this tower and the lightning crashes into it and um you know things are sort of a lot of destruction pluto you know but in this deck this one is um the Good Tarot by uh, Colette and reed but here's what it says. It says, Tower. Surprises. Things happen really fast when this card shows up in a reading. Its appearance could portend a total paradigm shift or a sudden upheaval that takes something away in order for something better to take its place. It could be that you had an epiphany. Whatever it is, this card tells you unexpected events will be very interesting and offer opportunities for positive transformation. And if you remain present and you keep your eyes open, that's how you will be able to uh, have these opportunities for positive transformation. So that's good for the this day with the new moon in uh, new moon in Scorpio. You know, expect the unexpected, but uh, you know, sort of take it as this would be your your time to set the intentions for things that you might not have. Hmm, how do you say, you know, things that you have thought about doing maybe and that you haven't had the maybe courage or 
haven't had uh, the ability for whatever reason, some kind of fear or block or something holding you back, you know, maybe, maybe you've got some inner child healing to still do. Maybe that's still coming up with Pluto and, and being that the new moon is in Scorpio, there could be some things that are coming up, but this is also a very beautiful card and you know that your angels are around you and uh, how important it is to, um, you know, take these energies of Scorpio um, and, you know, look at the under, underneath the shadow and possibly what, you know, still needs to be healed or whatever's still coming up. But I think with this energy, this would be the time that it would, you know, sort of blow it up. I would say whatever those last little things are, this could be, this could be the day or this could be the time where you are finally releasing that and saying sayonara, you know, that no longer is serving me and setting the seeds of intentions for things that are serving you, things that are for your highest good, things that for the highest good of all. And um, just how important it is to, you know, Scorpio will remind us that how important it is to actually, you know, see those things about ourselves that we don't necessarily like to look at, but it's this kind of stuff where the light is shone on it and it's a good thing. And um, I think it's really important to do that kind of work if you're if you're able to do it and if you're up for doing it i don't just say really go out there and just sort of try to bring stuff up that you're not ready to um to kind of look at because that can be kind of that could be counterintuitive as well can be kind of dangerous if it gets you into a spot where you're not really feeling great about it or you don't have the energy to deal with it or you don't want to look at it you know don't necessarily force yourself into something that you aren't ready to deal with because that uh, that can go south I've done that myself and um you know sometimes it's uh sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta give it uh give it some time let those things come up say hi there I see you I, I see you I feel you I'm not doing that today but um I'll put a pin in it and I'll be back you know that's possible too and so now before the full moon in Gemini which is coming up in a couple weeks that's where you'll be able to take what you've kind of gone through here and possibly be able to speak it aloud and actually create it for yourself in your world um, with the full moon, you know, sort of like releasing it completely at that point. And, um, you know, maybe saying it out loud or somehow writing it, journal, whatever it is, publishing it, whatever you do, however that looks like, but that's Gemini with uh, being able to communicate your um, wants and needs and desires and stuff like that. So. Yeah, anyway, hopefully that helps and uh, happy new moon and Scorpio blessings. Hope this finds you well. Take good care and we'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.